Storm Team 8 Tracking Center. This is a winter weather alert. Good morning, West Michigan. Boy, we are waking up to a blast of winter. It's January 26th, and so by this time in a regular winter weather season, we'd be saying a couple inches of snow, no big deal. But this time around, this is really our first big dose of snow to coincide with a morning commute, and it has been snowing for the past several hours. You'll see here on Storm Track Live, we've got widespread moderate to even heavy snow from central and northern Van Buren County into Allegan County, Berry County, up toward the Holland area. Grand Haven seeing a push of uh, locally heavy snow right now, extending into central and northern Kent County as well. The back edge of the snow is located all the way back in central Iowa, so it's going to be one of these long duration winter weather events where it snows light to moderate snow for at least the next six to eight hours and so the totals from this event will end up being on the order of two to maybe five inches but because it snows for so many hours in a row it really is going to be challenging for road crews to keep up so the secondary and side roads the neighborhood streets may not get touched until at least sometime late this afternoon for the first time so widespread two to five inches of snow a winter weather advisory in effect right through four o'clock this afternoon you'll see that winter storm warning where you see the pinks from uh, Milwaukee down to Chicago and all the way back into central Iowa and it's interesting because the back edge of this system has a wind chill advisory in effect across the northern plain states and that's because there's super cold air that's bottled up behind the system temperatures are in the single digits above to just below zero and wind chills are running five to almost 20 below and while we won't be quite that cold here with that northerly wind shift behind the system we actually are all going to be tracking some uh, much colder air than we have seen this entire winter season so far so today we're looking at that snow finally winding down by mid to late afternoon Partial clearing tonight with a northerly wind. Temps drop into the teens by daybreak tomorrow. And then during the day tomorrow, we'll actually feature a mixture of clouds and sunshine. If there's any lake effect behind this system, which can happen behind one of these types of systems, it'll actually occur right around the foot of Lake Michigan. So if you're traveling toward South Bend or Michigan City or Chicago over the next 24 to 48 hours, that's where you might run into some of those snow bands. Otherwise, looking at uh, fairly quiet weather conditions through the end of this week, more snow arriving as we head into Saturday, Sunday. And Monday, so another storm system is on the way. Uh, checking in with Matt Kirkwood, who has been out in the snow all morning. How are drivers doing on those roads, Matt? Yeah, Terry, just looking at the eight day forecast, whatever snow we get this go around is going to stick around for a while. Great news for the uh, snow enthusiasts. Speaking of which, I picked this location right next to Fox Power Sports in US 131. Hey, I figure if we got enough snow, maybe I just borrow a snowmobile from, from them to head home. Okay, I've been at this location since just a little after four o'clock. That's when the snow first started. Been here for a little over two hours, and we still haven't received an inch of snow at this location, but it has been consistent, just not heavy. And you can see behind me, you US 131, the snow is accumulating just a little bit. Certainly is on the on ramp here, and speeds have backed down. How much snow are we looking at so far? Well, I think the grand total is going to be in that two to five inch range here in Grand Rapids specifically, probably right around three, maybe four inches along the I 96 corridor. Other forecast models across the board from the European GFS to the Canadian kind of coming in that line as well. So, this is going to turn out to be one of our bigger events so far this season, and a season that hasn't brought us a lot of snow. No. Now, again, just looking at that traffic, I'd, I'd say the average speed, Tom, is right around 50 miles an hour. So at least drivers are backing it down a little bit. I'm sure there's still some crashes out there, though. Absolutely, Matt. There's been crashes scattered all throughout West Michigan all morning long. Going to start you with a live look. This is I-96 at Knapp Street. Notice how slow traffic is moving out there. So, again, just make sure you're leaving early and giving yourself plenty of time to make it to your destination safely. Right now, our newest crash is coming in along the East Belt Line at Lake Drive. And then I want to kind of expand it out to show you what Matt was talking about when it comes to those speeds that people are moving along out there. Along eastbound and westbound I-96 here, it's about 46 miles an hour. Heading through downtown along US-131, northbound and southbound, looks like it's hovering around 30 and about 42 or so coming in from the Granville area. So just keep that in mind. Here's another live look for you over downtown Grand Rapids. Slow going out there. I'll have another update for you in just a few minutes. Teresa? We have 152 closings and delays now. We'll continue to track this all for you as it moves through West Michigan. Download our weather app if you don't have that yet.